The Metro 6R4 has the reputation as one of the most ferocious competition cars to come out of a factory. Developed in 1985 with the help of the Williams Formula One team, the car was designed to achieve success for Austin Rover on the notoriously dangerous Group B World Rally Circuit. The 6R4 was more like a roll cage on wheels, feather light, but with a brutal rear-mounted 410 brake horsepower V6 engine. In the south, Tord and Erland are battling hard-packed snow on a steep slope to get a six-and-a-half-ton tractor worth over 100,000 euros back on four wheels. Born in the US in the 1960s, in the midst of the custom car phenomenon, no self-respecting Californian surfer dude would be seen dead without a chopped up V-dub beetle. Advertised in the back pages of Hot Rod magazines, you'd find all kinds of kits on offer from Baja bugs to beach buggies. But it was in the UK in the 1980s that the VW Wizard really kicked off, with small companies like the Wizard of Rods going into production and churning out low-slung, open two-seater roadsters for people that couldn't be bothered to do it themselves. Performance was largely irrelevant, and, as with all custom cars, styling rules went straight out the window, apart from one. They had to look ultra-cool. The ancient city of Ston is no bigger than a village, yet its walls are vast and zigzag far across the hills. The salt that was produced here was so valuable that the people of Ston built a wall around them to keep out thieves. In northern Norway, Joe Roger and experienced local rescuer Eskil are winching a 35-ton excavator up a steep and unstable dirt bank on a building site. At risk is the excavator, their two rescue trucks and the construction schedule for a new bridge. Hey! Det er på jul, eller? Står der. Det er vi. They check the stability of the tow trucks, but they have to risk another attempt. The Jensen Interceptor was one of the biggest and best British GTs ever built. In 1966, it catapulted small West Midlands-based Jensen into the upper echelons of supercar manufacturers. Its distinctive hatchback body might have been styled in Italy and the enormous V8 engine built by Chrysler in the US. But don't be fooled, this muscle car was British through and through. This is the Leviathan of Parsons Town, a record-breaking telescope. It's flanked by two tall walls, which once supported a mechanism to raise it to the sky. For 72 years, this enormous structure was the world's largest telescope. Start to pull. It's heavy to pull in the snow. We have to be careful so we don't damage anything more. We pull it a little backwards and I pull it in the front and uh, then we just work it up. As they work, they make precise adjustments to the rig. It's critical they keep the winch wires tight so the truck clears the rocks. But Joe Rogers in for a shock. If you saw this baby in the street today, it might well turn your head, as the Fiat X19 stylish good looks have certainly stood the test of time. Remarkable then that the car actually dates back to 1968, when Auto Design Supremo's Batoni first put their pens to the drawing board. More used to working with Lamborghini or Maserati, they came up with an affordable little mid-engine sports car that stayed in production for 18 years. This 
is the Stoßbahn, the steepest funicular railway in the world. Carriages are connected to a pair of hydraulic cylinders that rotate them in synchrony as the train climbs the slope. Engineers designed this sci-fi looking train to haul passengers from the valley floor up a near vertical 110% gradient 